Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to add to do elements in real footage with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and in this video I will show how to add to the animation in real footage video. Let's for example first select this footage video from my phone and move to inside for create new cam session and turn off audio and then select this footage video. This is Apple ProRes Alpha channel video. Let's move to inside my cam session and let's see. Okay, so let's select work area and right mouse select work area like this and we have five seconds animation and right now select this video footage and go to fx presses search fx camera tracer and i will use 3d camera tracer let's select and move to our video waiting for analysis in background we can see here frame rates for analysis we have only 149 frame rates so after the analysis we can see here solving camera and we have more points for select camera tracing. Let's go to here and select these better ground points. For example, let's select this and right mouse, let's create solid and camera. So let's see. Okay. So in this time, select this footage animation and if you not see this part, click toggle switch modes and click this checkbox for 3D layer. Then select this solid and height layer and let's press P. Select here all position coordinates and Ctrl C for copy. Select this animation footage and let's press P. Select here Ctrl V for paste coordinates. So let's see. Okay. Select this animation, press S and change scale and move to up or we'll change scale more and move to up like this. So let's say animation. Okay, nice tracing. So right now let's select this footage, let's control D for duplicate and press R, chain rotation and put here let's see okay I want to make shadow and change rotation and move to here okay so let's go to FX presses search FX fill and select this fill for this footage let's change name shadow And change color like this black click OK and go to FX presses again search effect Gaussian blur select Gaussian blur let's use again this shadow layer and change blurness and let's change quality quarter okay and let's press T change opacity so let's see Okay, not bad. Okay, so in this time, select this shadow and let's link to B animation. Select this B animation. Let's change this name B and press S, change scale and move the down a little bit. Okay, that's good. So in this time, I want to add ambient collision for realistic shadows. Let's change quality full and let's right mouse new and create new solid layer. Add name shadow AO and click OK. Press T, change opacity. And let's zoom to here. Go to shape layers, hold this icon and select this ellipse tool. And let's make simple mask. Okay, tool and open mask one here, 
change max fizzle okay and select this shadow let's click this icon for 3d layer and select this solid again select these all positions ctrl c select shadow and ctrl v and press s change scale and for move anchor point center hold ctrl double click pen behind icon clicization tool and put here this shadow okay not bad let's see Let's change quality quarter okay very nice so for testing camera tracking we can add here some grids for example let me show how to do this let's right mouse new and solid layer add name grid click ok and go to fs presses search effect grid and select this grid from generate let's use for grid layer and change corner point with slider and change sliders and click this icon again for 3d layer and let's select this again solid press p select these coordinates let's control c select grid and control v then press s and change scale and move to left and press R, open rotation, chain rotation like this. Okay, press S, chain scale more. And move to down. And move to behind B. And click toggle switch mode, change normal to soft light. Let's see. Okay, nice grid and nice camera tracking. So let's see full quality. Okay, not bad. Very good. So, let's select the shadow. And in this time, let's press R and chain rotation like this. And let's put here. And press S, click this icon and chain scale. Okay, press T and chain opacity more. Okay, very nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck. I will show how to add to-do elements in real footage with After Effects. Let's get started. 